Hello guys, welcome back to this crazy crazy game that is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Just a quick refresher, in the last episode we got to do a little bit of Tomi Kisaragi's story. We learned that she came from, I believe, the year 2025 I think it was. Um, she was transported to 1985. She seems to be kind of in denial about what happened to her time and her home where she came from. But then she's teleported back to 2025 after it's been destroyed with Ogata and Miwako and well yeah it's real it really did happen. Shinonome's there too and they find out that the Daimos are actually created by Shikishima Industries which is as far as we know a corporation that is of earth or whatever possibly not alien invaders after all. So today we're going to hang out with Natsuno Minami. I hope you guys are excited for this episode as much as I am. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the comments. Bye! What now? What do I want to do? Everything. Everything. Natsuno. In search of Sentinel number 17, Natsuno Minami and BJ arrived in 1945 but were spotted a by a local boy, Keito Romura, at the Tokisaka Shrine. BJ. Ouch! My back. It felt like I was inside a washing machine. That freaking inspection hatch. Definitely don't recommend. He hit my butt so many times. And your butt is oh so exposed. How in the... How am I supposed to get down from here? Companion ladder on the front. Oh, right. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Derp. So, what are we doing? Where- when are we? <laughs> Where are we? Oh, scary. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. Okay. My room gets raided by my either way okay no that's not bj are we we made it back right it is 1985 a robot as big as this i can't believe it's capable of time travel alien technology sure doesn't disappoint Okay, so we're back to 85 from 45, or 44, whenever. Wait, where's Miura-kun? He is already gone. You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. How so? Hmm. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. Oh, that situation? I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Maybe we should leave. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? We need to leave. Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Not to know. What? We just gotta leave it there, I mean... First things first. Let's get you in the bag. We can't really hide it, right? <laughs> can't really hide a sentinel. Senpai, what's going on? Minami... Someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. Men in black. But they're looking for BJ. Why 
watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. Was this before she found BJ? <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Oh, no, no, no. Mm. It's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Uh, yeah, well, maybe you should leave now. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. Actually, this is... Uh, this is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's an alarm clock. <laughs> a clock? <laughs> what? Okay, BJ, so remember what I told you. Around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I... Can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. <laughs> Isn't it kind of... Big? Well, it's the 80s. Everything's better. I mean, every uh, technology's bigger, right? Right? It's normal. Bye! Gotta go! Huh? You're going home dressed like that? Uh... Yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... She's comfortable. She feels free. Feel the wind on her legs. Um, should we not walk right up to him? I guess we have to. Oh, there we go. Already. Now where to search? Uh oh. Hold it right there. Uh oh. Ah, crap. I'm going to need you to show me what's inside your bag. <sighs> Stop. Good thing we're on the track team. After me. Run! Well, stop! What do I do? Hide! I don't know. This really sucks. Well, that was easy. Let's go downstairs. idea there's one over here too um what do i do go elsewhere the hallway that's where it came from what do i do hide in a classroom girls restroom She was running this way. Well, if it isn't Minami. Oh god, Takun. What's up? Um I've searched for quite a while. But I couldn't find Miura Kun anywhere. I bet he got captured by the men in black, and it's all because of me. I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? S so those clothes will probably be in the way. Uh, huh? <laughs> you know, that little outfit. Ugh. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They'd take the whole thing off. 
real? <laughs> I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother... I mean, those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <sighs> you ain't getting away with this asshole! Is that Ryuji's voice actor? <sighs> what the... Where'd this guy come from? Hey! Yeah, Leave him alone! Go down so easily. He came from over there. Oh my god. Does he not know oh, how to fight at all? Something. Crap, he's coming. Uh get in the classroom. Gosh, finally. Someone was just here. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. What the hell are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. Oh no. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. Oh no. So, what does she look like? <sighs> There's no way. Oh shit. Yuki chan. She heard all Working that. With the men in black? Yuki chan. Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh my God, it's get, taking so long to scroll up and down this list. It's just getting longer and longer and longer. Okay, nothing new that we can read. I think we should do some battle. All right, let's do this one. We need Miura on this fight, so here we go. Miura on the strike team. Um, Shield Apsos Kaiju will appear. Maybe that's like a new thing. I'm not sure. Fine. What that might be. Okay, Mira on the strike team. City defense rate at time of clearing 70% or higher. Okay. Reflective barriers. Probably easier to say it's like a support kaiju that can give other kaiju shields. It's got shields? A shield matrix. The fourth gen sentinels have those as well. Oh, I get it. Like the one on Amiguchi kun sentinel. So how do we deal with it? Your own third gen unit should have a weapon that can disable that too. A third gen. The EMP stunner. I think that's EMP. The one. Okay. That'll stop the D forces in their tracks with an electromagnetic pulse. EMP should also deactivate any shields they have up to. That said, he'd be better off destroying them before they get the shields up at all. Here it comes! Okay. Let's see. EMP. Okay, I have one... Two EMP stunners. Good. Good. So they're going to come from here and over here. Deploy, decoy. Deploy a decoy. Hello? Somebody? Okay, here we go. Woo! Enemy on the move. Let's go ahead and use that EMP stunner. Stay on guard. Okay. Oh, 
What do we want to do here? Let's get over here. Good. That's my win. What do I do? Okay, you. So it costs 300, so he can use it twice. His demolisher blade. And look at the range on it now. Oh, that's kind of nice. There we go. Just fuck there him up. I need to think. Just fuck him up. Deploy decoys. I think you just put a shit ton of decoys out. This is all pretty freaky. What do you think? How does that sound? Railgun action. Boom. Are we winning? I think we're winning, Dad. We're winning. Hmm. What to do? So this interceptor, it looks like it... It's just like right... They release it right where he's at. Which is interesting. Oh, I'm glad you took some damage there. Stay on what's optimal. Well, maybe he actually no, he didn't. I don't know. No point overthinking it. Okay, demolish your blade. Let's do this. Boom. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that thing didn't die. Better put on a show for you, John. Alright, let's try this interceptor out. So you get in here. You use your rail gun. Here we go. A hit! That might kind of just took them out. Almost all, all of them already. Oh, that thing's in the air. Oh, that's why. I bet somebody is yelling at me internally about that. That's why Ogata didn't damage it. Okay, Ogata, you need to come back anyways and charge up your shit, probably. EMP. Take that thing down. And actually, you do have... Better get it while it's down, right? If I can get to it. Hmm. It's kind of gotten out of my reach. You want this? Go. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Amiguchi. Hold on. Um. Instant team cooldown. Amiguchi, get the hell out of there. Uh, he's about to get hit by two, a bunch of shit. So let's do. Let's get back here. There we go. There we go. I love the rail gun here. Love the rail gun. Is that thing going to come back? I need to go ahead and use my... Oh, now I can't use it. That's fine. Here comes the pain. Always think ahead. 
так. Let's take these things out. I wanted to try using those things, but maybe I can on these. The, uh, what you call it? This new thing that I got. EMP? No, railgun. Railgun! I feel so powerful. Uh-oh. Um... So I need him to... I wonder if I could just repair... I mean, not repair, but charge EP right here. There's nothing in that area, so it might be okay. Interceptors. Oh, now I don't have enough to use them! Hi, Malice Souls! And hi, Justinian! How is everyone's Thursday going? The railguns are crazy. I love the railguns. Alright, let's see. These two can... Um... I guess you charge your EP too. And you... Throw a mine at them? These things are, are swarming the, uh, what you call it? Like hardcore. The terminal. But I got a decoy, so. Sorry, bud. And we'll just EMP. Sit the fuck down! Sit the fuck down. What's coming over here, I wonder? Guess we're gonna find what out. Was was that okay? Bye. How was that? Good. 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 That the plan. Mm. It is. Uh, one of the big guys. Cool. Cool. I think I am absolutely ready to take him out. Because this guy's back with his demolisher blade. I can't really get a back attack. So I'm a little bit scared to get right up in here. So I need somebody That's with EMP. This is all pretty freaky. Uh, who has EP? Shit. Hmm. Let's get him. Heal team EP. I think that's a, this is a good time to use that. I'm gonna move you closer to Ogata, so he can't. So you can use your EMP, and you can use your heavy knuckles. We'll just get close. Get behind this fool. Wait, where'd the big guy go? Is he fucking dead? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did he die? I don't remember killing him. Who killed him? I took him out. <laughs> Oh. Awesome. Ah, oh, these interceptors, man. I, I can't get an opportunity to use them. Hold still. Nailed it. Just 
kill this thing, I guess. I need to get Goto some more abilities. He, he only has three. Stay calm. Remember your training. EMP the shit. Don't move. A hit. I'm sorry. No, point overthinking it. no missiles are gonna be hitting me right now. Die already. Got him. That all you got? Sorry to say. Let's turn this around. This is all pretty freaky. This isn't so hard. We're almost oh, done here. Gotcha. Bullseye. Bullseye. Termination of enemy mm. The combat in this is actually like really fun. I just wish I could get that one mission S rank. Yes, it is. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Readout say 1.2 million people in Sector 4. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025 as in Sector 3. To the year 2025? You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. Chihiro. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Shifting people to 2025. Goto was the MVP? Huh? What did he do? I guess I was jumping around with that one move a lot with him. Taking out a lot of enemies with that. Okay, that's got to be an S rank. That, yeah, yeah, S rank. S rank. It was like less than four percent damage on it on everything. Well, four point seven sentinel damage, one point nine percent terminal, and one point one percent city damage. So, basically, I'm a fucking badass. Or should I say Goto is a fucking badass and the rest of my team? Bonus objectives completed. So we got some mystery files, mystery points to look at, and then we're going to go back to the story mode remembrance and I'm very excited. I am loving this game. That is true. Absos. Officially called Active Protection System Operating Supplier, also called an APS Feeder. This kaiju protects other kaiju by putting shields around them. Kaiju that are covered with the shield with the shield aren't affected by attacks, so it's vital to prioritize the destruction of Apsos to prevent the shields from engaging. Since the Apsos is structurally fail, frail, destroying them is not difficult. No, those things were easy to kill. Stuffed rabbit. Chihiro's mother made this for her despite not being very good at sewing. It's pieced together with mismatched scraps of cloth. The Chihiro in 1945 took this with her wherever she went. Okay. Yes, and that's the Chihiro that was Mira's sister. Or so he thinks. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, there's also another Chihiro, little girl Chihiro, that's like, Goto says it's his sister, and she doesn't seem to remember M Miura, and I'm just like, you know what? Here we go. Chihiro is Keitaro, Miura's little sister. She loves Miura and calls him big brother. She's under Tamao Karabe's care in 1945. Yeah, but then that one time, that one time, she wasn't. Okay, we have two more mystery points that we can use. And so many things that we want to 
unlock. So many things that we want to unlock. Like dog face. <laughs> like dog face. Shikishima Industries seems like a good one. A business affiliated with Shikishima Conglomerate. The conglomerate has political ties and grew to its, to its large size during the Meiji era. era. They started off their business mainly with shipbuilding, but afterward entered the air transportation sector. During the war, they focused on weapons production, and post-war, they became a world-famous machinery maker that makes everything from household electronics to rockets. One more point. Um, I don't know. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all, and I want it now. Tamao Kurabe, the 2188 version. So we have in 1945. She lives with Shihiro. She's been receiving medicine from Renya Goto. In 1985, she's the landlady and Juro's grandmother. And then in 2118, she is Chihiro Morimura's mentor, as well as the leading authority on artificial intelligence. Despite the fact that she's 120 years old, she looks much younger than her true age, thanks to nanomachine treatments. All right. She old. Remembrance. Oh, Natsuno. No, Natsuno is who I wanted to do. I wanted to finish these. I remember now. Okay, sweet. Let's do this. Natsuno Minami ran away from the men in black suits in order to protect BJ. During her escape, she witnessed her best friend Yuki Takamiya working alongside them. Right, 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 right. Okay, I remember now. This is what yeah. we were doing. Booty sh short girl. Okay, after practice... Seriously? Again? This dang alien won't stay in his little locker. Natsuno. That's me. I'm sorry I have to lock you up, BJ. But those men in black are still wandering around. Let's I love this music. Kate. Okay, we need to get out of here before someone sees us. Get in the bag! Hmm? Huh? My notebook's not in here. Uh-oh. My research notebook on aliens. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. No, oh, Yuki yeah. found it, didn't she? I took it to the audiovisual room. Crap. I totally left it there, didn't I? Get in the bag, BJ. Okay. So we're looking for a research notebook. We need to go to the AV room. Well, I think his glasses, his shades are making it hard to see her or something. Aw, uh, yeah. Got it. All right, Minami. Listen up. All top secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Good talk. Right. You got it, boss. Not to know. We have to keep moving. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? 
unable to identify. It's unfamiliar. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Oh. Usami? No. No. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? This is you the bathroom Usami. incident. Man. The bathroom. The bathroom. We made it finally. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. What's going on? Why is Usami? That is not Tony Kisaragi. Not what? her. So she's an imposter? No, it's an android. An android? Oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. So they made a robot to track you down. Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. Oh my gosh! BJ, you're freaking me out! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, we already know we ex we explode and, and get... Go to, like, another... I don't know. Something bad happens. Go outside. Yeah. She's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we do? We already know. Things are gonna go down. I've gotta hide. Well, well. Well, well. Please don't make me use force. Just do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? <gasps> I thought number 17 was gone. But its signal led me here. <clears throat> now that I found 426... I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. And I'm awfully strong, too. Are they both androids? Well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> this is... I think I'd ever see this resort to violence. I would have expected it, knowing who you were. I guess in your heart. Just a machine. We're not to know. <laughs> She's horrified. Whatever makes it all easier. Jeez, what the hell is happening out there? Uh. What the heck just happened? It seems quiet now. Holy crap! What a mess! Oh shit! Um... Hey! She looks like what are you Tamel. Here, Tamel -san? And this. Did you do all this? But she's also Erica Iba and, 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 and also a android. Hey, don't jump out like that. He's also an android. Created in Tamel Karabe's image. She's a robot, too? I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. 
What does that mean? Whoa. It really is a robot. It looks just like Usami. Maybe we're all really robots. I didn't expect you to be here too, Miura Kun. What? I see. You switched bodies. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> this is a, so. I thought BJ was maybe Tamao. I thought BJ was maybe like Natsuno in the future, but BJ is Miura, which makes sense why he would be. Like, close to Natsuno, you know? You switched bodies. Did the android that was... The, the consciousness that was in the android that looks like Tomi transfer to the android that looks like Tamao? <laughs> Is that what happened? You switched bodies? <gasps> no, BJ! BJ? Say something! Don't worry. He's not broken. Are you sure? What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, Natsuno Minami. What? Who are you? Those monsters. The ones that destroyed the city? Yeah? What about them? have a new commander. New commander? And it's you. It's me? What? What are you talking about? No, so, it's not. Starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! What the? What am I doing here? What the heck happened? I'm not sure. That's right. I came to get this. <gasps> she wiped and both of our memories. I feel like I saw who saw me. Ah. Uh... Man, I can't really remember what happened here. Mira, is that you? We should go before anyone else shows up. Yeah, you're right. Come on, we can't let anyone see you. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. I've searched for quite a while. Okay. Okay. Ow. My cheek kind of stings. Yeah, because you got fucking shot. <sighs> to be continued. Whoops. I meant to go here. Mystery files. Did we get anything new? Yeah, we got some additional here. In the girls' bathroom, the Tamao Kurabe android destroys the Tomi Kisaragi android. Temporarily shuts off BJ and shoots Minami in the right cheek. Um... And that's about it that we got new there. Okay, so let's go back to Minami because we have one more little path to do here. Uh, Natsuno Minami escaped into the bathroom to hide from the sudden attack by Tomi Kisaragi. Minami felt relief after Tamao Kurabe saved her, but it turned out Tamao was after her as well. So... Yeah, I still think maybe... The consciousness that was inside the Tomi android, 
like transferred to the Tamau android, but I'm I can't be for sure. I don't know. It, that's what it made. That's what it seemed like. Right. <gasps> what are you doing? Huh? Tamau-san? Wait. How are you here, Tamau-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamau-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <gasps> Who is this? A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? Yeah, something what like if that. They planted something in me. Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. No, not really. Not really. Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well. Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign up form but never came, huh? It's Iba san, right? Erica Iba? No, she's a... Oh, so that's... This is how she takes on the Erika Aiba name. Because that the real Erika Aiba turned in her track uh, membership form, but n then sh something happened to her. She just never sh showed back up to school. I guess is what's going on there. So, Aiba-san, you're in Class 1D? Right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely, so can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. No, she's an android. Someone like this just next door? She's an android. <laughs> Erica Iba Class 1D next door. Hmm. So <laughs> not to know super confused because the Tamao she knows she met in 1945 and now is wondering like what she's doing here in this time but then also is wondering if she just thinks she's her but is not her but she's actually an android and i think she has something to do with natsuno's disappearance and then she starts hanging around freaking Yuki, and they're looking for Natsuno together. Ugh! Pogass! Thank you for the 15 months! Welcome back! I hope you've been doing well. How's your week been going? <laughs> BJ! <laughs> make it make sense! Make it make sense! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't know, man. Everything's so confusing. She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. <clears throat> BJ! 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 Did she find you? She? The girl that was just here. I was on. Nobody was here. <gasps> she erased his memories. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Now to know the gate. Now to know. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. To the gate! To the gate! Not to know. 
Wrong button. Get in the bag. Get in the bag, BJ. You gotta stay in there. Stay in the bag, BJ. is in danger. There isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Go to Tokisaka Shrine. One? How about sector one? Sector one has base, no sentinel. I see. Sector two? Sector two looks at Sector two was our fifth. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Shift to 2065. Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code approved. Designating sector. And then she never came back. Okay, right. I remember this. I don't see any tripods. But we shouldn't let our guard down. Okay. How should we do this? Natsuna, you wait here. Huh? <laughs> You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Let me ask you a question, Natsuno. Can you fucking fly? Okay then, sit the fuck down. <laughs> Time required to search the path is 27 minutes. Okay, bye. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? Okay. It's not often I get to time travel. I certainly won't waste it waiting. Go explore. This is a horrible idea. Click. Just gonna peek around a bit. Bad idea, girl. I don't know about this. I don't think this is a great idea. Just wait for BJ. What do we got here? I saw something light up. Okay, yeah, post-apocalyptic world. Possibly still active robots terrorizing the city. And you see a flashing light. Bright light. Let's go follow it. What's the worst that it could be, right? Oh. Is that what we've been looking for? Look closer. Is that a sentinel? Look who found it first. That's what you get for leaving me behind. Is it the right one, though? <gasps> BJ! No! Wait, it might not be, be him. And I, it, it, it might not be him. It might not be him. It might be somebody else. It might be a different robot that just looks like him. What happened? That's right, his brain. As long as his brain's okay, I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? BJ's brain! I think it's this. It actually is a brain! She was right! There's some letters on this. Shikishima. Shikishima Robotics? Shikishima? Wait, 
As in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. Made in Japan! PJ's not an alien. He's a robot. Um. Now what? We have a brain! Booty shorts and a brain! What's a girl to do? What is a girl to do? That sound! <gasps> EK? <laughs> See? I knew it wasn't him! BJ. Whose brain do we have but then? Wait. What I saw earlier... It was a different robot? Uh, EJ? Can you tell me whose brain this is? You found a sentinel. Sentinel number eight. A remote control type. This is not sentinel number seventeen. <sighs> Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. You're- I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Isn't that right? He's your beloved Miura. Maybe. What about the brain? Can't we ask him about the brain? Whose brain yeah. is this? I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, does that mean the tripods too? Why is everything tied to Shikishima? Autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. High quad 150B. No yeah. Way. We we hate those things. Machinery robots for the development of Mars. Of Mars? But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? That's a damn good question. They are not. What? They clearly are! I fought them in the fucking battle destruction shit! This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. A lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... What? The basis for my speculation is this log. All right, go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation, it is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. That is Ogato. I was like, that's Reason either Ogato or his dad. Funds suspended. You can't. Ogato-san, please. I know those eyebrows anywhere. This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Renji Ogata. Ogata-kun? After this log, mm. the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno. Do you understand? No! It is possible. You are the alien they created. Uh. 
<laughs> it hurts. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, so... I need to re... I need to see that again. So that... So... It's not our future selves. At least within the instance of like... These characters, right? It's not us in the future. It's the human us, at least at the moment we're being meant to believe that uh. <laughs> um let me read this really quick. Natsunomi Nami. In the 2065 ruins, Minami discovers something that looks like the brain of a destroyed BJ. On it, she finds letter Shikishima to her... This May, Minami realizes that BJ, the Sentinels, and even the Kaiju are all, all machines made in Japan. However, BJ implies that the planet they're currently on may not be Earth and that Minami and the others are the real aliens. So they wanted to... kind of make like another humanity what was the purpose of the project they wanted to make another humanity on another planet using just their dna so she's the alien created by that but what were they trying to do like extend humanity's life on another planet or i i like i need to re-see that log maybe this will help okay in 2188 minami explains to shikishima's top figure nenji ogata the meaning of professor takamiya's research takamiya is yuki yuki tak okay she goes over details such as the fact that the top prospect out of the 117 plants being considered as a Planetary system 12 light years ahead. The ship will only carry their DNA. They're planning of a for a population of 6 million people, but Ogata calls it Im impractical, self-satisfying endeavor, and rejects the plan. Nenji Ogata 2188. The Nenji Ogata of 2188 is the son of the distinguished family that owns the conglomerate Shikishima. He is opposed to Murimura's project arc, which is which his deceased father pushed for. So... So his father and, like, Natsuno were working on this project. And then... Oga uh, Nenji Ogata got in charge after his father's passing, and he's like, Nah. So Project Ark, the name Project Ark makes me think that maybe, like, their humanity is dying out and they can't survive anymore and they can't find a planet that they can feasibly get to to survive so they're gonna send their dna to a planet that's like 12 light years away and have humanity live on in that way or something like that um Oh my god, there's so many fucking mystery files. So 2065 is... after 2188. In a way. Right? Because... this is 2188 that they were... broadcast... that they... this was being talked about because it says so right there Nenji Ogata 2188 but 
point the 2065 that we went to bj said it took place after so i don't know how that works but i don't think that we can really look at the years and say numerically what came before or after the other because it's not that right like maybe this is 2065 years after the birth of this species on this planet or something like that this this new humanity and so there's also like different dimensions and they're trapped so they're trapped Somebody's trapped. A group of people are trapped in 1985. And we... Are they the aliens? I'm so fucking confused, but... I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Are you all good, Doom? Are you following? Or was everyone following this shit? What about the cats? I don't fucking know where the cats come into this either. The fucking cat. Fluffy. Fucking fluffy. <laughs> uh.